Hey guys, uh, been 10 months since I've done the last video. I'm just going to do an update. Um, I still have the simplest system. Um, no surprises there. I'm still just working with the dual reactor. I don't even use false band anymore. I just put um, the carbon in both sides. Once again, it's all about the cheapness, right? Because that's what I do. I'm going to show you how to do it cheap. So here's some things I found out in 10 months. Um, if you look at my last video, you'll probably see that my aquarium didn't seem as abundant as it does now. That's because I've actually had a lot of growth. My Duncan had went from two heads to six heads. Um, my peppermint coral has gone from about three heads to nine heads at this point. Uh, the mushrooms just flourishing all over the place. I take this one cap of mushroom and I just move it around and let it see different rocks. I don't have mushrooms on every rock, but it is it, it's really um, taking off. Xenia, I got actually two different types. I have pulsing and um, just regular. Um, I have one group here, which actually spawned off of that group at the top. It split off onto this rock, and then I moved the frag disc back to the top here that's probably going to seed off onto that rock and also have some seeding over here on this side this rock I rearrange my rocks um, every three months or so just for a different look and sometimes I clean off excess algae I got good uh, zoanthids I decided to put those guys together and let them all colonize on one rock and they spread all along this rock here I lost one Recordia. He's swimming around here somewhere. I might catch him on an updraft one day if I'm paying attention and I'll scoop him with the net and reset him. Other than that, the point I'm trying to make is, guys, is that for 10 months now, I've been running my system without a sump. And um, I've been doing pretty good, man. I'm having good results. Coral, coral growth is um, going to be a slow process. Um, they say that there are things you can add and things you can do to make your growth um, just burst but the reality is it's all about the patience guys 10 months and my aquarium is looking super awesome um, I want to talk about lighting because there is one thing I don't want to really do a separate video about it because this is real simple as you guys may know I'm working with the metal highlight here um, but the corals the soft corals I have and the um, LPS that I have don't need that metal highlight. They've actually been doing very good with just a regular old actinic light. And um, this is really all I need. The only reason why I switched it is because daylight savings time came about. And once it got really dark in the room, I went to the metal highlight to give my room a little bit more light. However, um, this does just fine. The corals were still growing with that. And lastly, I did buy one um, SPS coral, an Acropora, and it does not do well in this tank. Um, my water parameters aren't clean enough. The type of setup I have, guys, don't try SPS. Um, they need extreme clean and extreme light. The light I do have with the metal highlight but I have way too much nutrients going on um, inside of my tank because of the lack of sump filtration. I don't have a protein skimmer and all the other UV light gadgets and stuff that people buy. I have none of that. It's a simple two-chamber filter system with weekly water changes of 10%. Sometimes maybe I'll do 20% weekly. I change out my uh, filtration every two weeks is how I do it and um, once again the proof is all right there don't stop don't stop did you stop it
If you guys have any more questions, give me a holler. I'll be glad to let you know. Uh, anything you want to know. Um, last thing I want to say is that the uh, LPS doing great. Um, as long as they have large polyps on them, they actually have been growing. The calcium structure has been growing um, on the LPS. Once again, the SPS, um, I'm not going to even bother showing you my Aquapora. It just completely bleached out. It's just no good. This is the second time I tried um, a small polyp, uh, stony coral. Um, definitely can't do that in this type of system that I got set up. SPS, go for it. Soft, go for it.